Uh, joining us now is Deputy Andrew Doyle of Fine Gael. Hi, Andrew. Morning, Declan. It's not a good week, not a not good reading the papers at the moment. So, what's your take on it? Well, you're certainly right. It's it's um, a, a series of avoidable uh, events that have um, led to this uh, current scenario where we have uh, somebody nominated to the Shannon who's now decided that, that for one reason or another they don't want their name, they don't want to be considered. Um, entirely avoidable and I think the one thing you, you, you really have to say about any, anything in life is when mistakes are made that lessons are learned and I certainly hope they will be and I'm sure that tonight's parliamentary party meeting will be a uh, fairly uh, robust affair where people are going to be asked to explain exactly how uh, these events uh, how we came to this situation and what um, what you know, cross-checking or checks and balances were put in place before any decisions were made, whether it was at, at, at you know, headquarters level or at political level. Um, so I'm certainly not on to make any excuses here. And but tell me, you know... The, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Sir. I was just wondering, you know, people have a, an image of politicians that this is what politicians do, you know, they try to get away with various strokes and things because that's what it is. And there's even that story in the mail today of somebody who has links with Enda Kenny uh, getting some sort of a gig uh, on Sulis. So, you sort of say, you know, the ordinary people don't get a look in with these. It's always just friends of friends and if you're loyal to a party, you get in. That's what all politicians do. But then people might ask, you know, was this a deliberate attempt, do you think, of of doing that from a politician's point of view or was this just something that was badly managed and was let drift on and there was no intention to, to do it the way it was done? Well, there's two things. One is, you know, I think it probably was mismanaged in 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 the, this particular case. But on the on the broader point, I mean, I, I've seen ministers um, not so long ago refusing to appoint people uh, to board. Some ministers, anyway, particularly uh, because they were either a member of Finnegan, ironically, or um, in particular cases where there had been previously local authority members selected on boards. Uh, that they were being excluded by virtue of the fact that they were local authority, um, you know, even if they had a, 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 a level of expertise. And so it isn't the case. That, but it's easy for everybody to assume that that's the way it works all the time. And that's because if, if that is the, is the perception, then we have to look at why it is. I mean, it, there certainly has been elements of it, um, and it has to be. And I think in fairness um, to the Taoiseach, uh, he did come out and say he was wrong. Uh, there's a bit more to go on that path, but to see what it is, procedures. If, if 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 we recall back, you know, 1996 or thereabouts, when the late Hugh Coveney had to step down for having a you know sort of a casual conversation with somebody on the phone, um, like then Taoiseach insisted that he actually stand down as uh, from his role as minister, and he was a cabinet minister at the time. So we've had. You know, occasions in the past when people have had to um, take responsibility for what they've done. Mm. I was just reading through Miriam Lord's uh, uh, style sketch. I mean, she's pretty scathing about it, you know. She's saying Enda's apologising for, well, nobody's clear what he's apologising for, really. And then he was putting in what was described as a failed politician to install in the Shannon. It's that sort of flavour that we, we get from it. You know? Yeah, well, I, I, you know, to call anyone a failed politician, I think the man in question actually is a bit of a victim as well in this case. To call, like we've had people who down the years have been elected, lost their seat and been re-elected. Do you call them a failed or a successful politician? You know, I don't think it's fair to call somebody who didn't get, to, didn't succeed. At least they, they at the time participated in an election campaign. I don't think it's fair to describe anyone as a, as a failed politician. But what's more important, I think, is is, is the, the, the chain of events that led to where, on the one hand, the, the same individual has, has stood down from the board of him and, and then asked for nobody to vote for him and in the Shannon elections when he's a duly nominated and closing date for nominations was last Monday week. So we're at a, on an inexorable sort of path now. We're not quite sure what's going to happen. Um, 
I think we need clarification on that as well, actually, by yeah. the way. And the, the driver from Irish Water on the board? Yeah, and, uh, you know, I, don't, I don't think... I, you is, know, that, is that a mistake? Is that not, is that arrogance or is it just is somebody it, being it, naive? I think that's, what? Look, I think that's a, a, a little bit of a mountain out of all hill. To be, to be honest, um, if you're doing the mileage that, that, you know, ministers and junior ministers do, you know, you probably want somebody who you're comfortable with in the car with you at all times. They would have known each other, those two gentlemen would have known each other for a long number of years um, and the man was unemployed. Now, the, the, the point was, I suppose the relevance is that they were on the board of Irish Water. So the, the correct decision was taken. It should have probably been taken, but did it occur to people? I mean, I don't think the board of Irish Water pays anything anyway, so I'm not so sure that it matters. 15 grand, know? I thought, was it? It is. Okay, yeah. okay. So it was the board of them that paid, didn't pay. Beg your pardon. Um, but anyway, like, I, I think the right thing has happened, but it's not, a, I, I don't think it's a major issue, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, anyway, you've got to recover from it. Do, do ordinary people, you know, say if, um, you know, we'll nominate somebody from this radio station, somebody, would they ever get considered for a board or something like that? Or would have to join a party or do oh, a good I turn think, for somebody? I, I think, I, I think in fairness, if, there, if there's a good to come out of this is that, you know, the Irish, through the Irish public um, OPA, that people will actually be listed, um, state appointments on boards, uh, w will come from, the, um, from through that process. And look, I can tell you one thing, um, and I mean, there are people in Wicklow will testify to this. There was appointments made to on board Penola by, by the former minister, uh, Hogan, that didn't please a lot of people because they were seen as being, having got in, being nominated under, you know, a particular, um, pillar. And there, there, some of the things that had gone, had passed off in the future, in the past, uh, didn't all go well for their, for their, um, for some people's perspective, didn't see them that they could, uh, you know, carry out their own in an objective manner, uh, very understandably. So, I mean, <laughs> on the one hand, we were accused of not being more careful about the people that were, um, being appointed to boards, and that was that's a fairly major board, and it was somebody who who came through the nomination, and the minister just signed off because they'd come being recommended from that that particular pillar. Mm. So we've had, you know, it's not all black and white either. Yeah, it's Andrew Doyle, um, Deputy Andrew Doyle at Fine Gael in the county. Uh, as you say, we're going to hear more about it, Andrew. Absolutely. But uh, just to say that uh, our road is coming on pretty well. Um, if, you know, yeah, uh, big uh, a work at the moment, and, yeah. and there's going to be a fairly significant, um, you know, diversion down at, uh, in our, and around Jack White's, but it's to allow the the, the, the new um, main part of the road actually uh, be you know, constructed. I think we're we're going up and down on ramps. It's like being on a one of those roller coasters in a fun park, um, or you're going up and down. But at least, um, as best as they can, they're, they're trying to manage the traffic. I think there has been improvements in the communications, which was a bit of an issue, but it is progressing. And let's be honest, they've been blessed with the weather. Yeah, okay. We got there in the end, or we're nearly there, which is fantastic. Well, so. this time next year, hopefully, we'll be able to, you know, um, go up and down that road feeling a lot safer um, on a top-quality uh, piece of um, auto, oh. auto carriageway. Right. Uh, just before you go on a, a personal note, you're, you're promoting some sort of um, tea morning, is it, on Friday? <laughs> Yeah, um, as part of Positive Aging Week, um, Positive Action Aging Week, there's um, an initiative to get guests who's coming to tea or coffee um, morning um, where a celebrity will come in and um, talk to, you know, active retired people. So through um, a, f a few um, encouragements, I, I, I said that we would do it in the office. So I have a, a guest that's well known um going to come in, a uh, bit of a character and a personality, uh, to just talk for half an hour uh, to the people. It's it's between 10 and 12, but I'm asking if everybody could be there at half past 10 because this person is on has somewhere else they have to be uh, by noon. And um, I think they'll, they'll enjoy it. It's, it's actually, um, there's a, what they're doing is, is in conjunction with Guide Dogs for the Blind, so there's a, there's a, it's a bit of a fundraiser as well, but it's actually to encourage people to get out, um, have coffee, 
have a chat and listen to uh, uh, somebody, uh, some celebrity. And there are a number of initiatives around the county, but on Friday morning, it's, it's in my office anyway. Okay, all right. Thanks for your time this morning, Andrew. Now listen, the best okay. of luck picking Thanks. yourselves up. Thanks, Keep in touch. Thank you.